hi. This is day seven. This is 25 kilometers, uh, the Linton track. This is through farmer's fields and there's no camping, this whole corridor. So I just gotta push through. Water isn't great because it's all run off from the farms and the grass is pretty high. So I'm probably gonna be allergic to it again, but it's okay. It's not like this all the time. And it's really itchy last night, but it went away eventually. So just deal with it for one more day. I'm gonna take a Benadryl now to head off the worst of it. A bunch of sand flies here too, I think. So it'll be fun to see what it's like to walk all day with Benadryl. So that top wire is live electric. No shocks. <laughs> no shocks. Even with Benadryl. We have to take a break here. It's a sheep break. Surrounded by sheep. We were here for about 20 minutes. There were thousands of sheep and it just kept coming and coming and coming. This is something you don't see on trail all the time. Butter, jelly, ham, and cheese. Just opened this gate, so I think the sheep are running through to get at the new grass. I came down to that river and then following the river for a while. It's pretty wild that we've been looking at these mountains all day and now. We're going to be walking right next to them. It's 
been raining for the last hour and a half, two hours, but it's not too cold. with this elemental layer too. I took my shirt off, it's completely soaked, and then this layer is uh, pretty much completely dry. So once that wet layer came off, I'm, uh, yeah, not cold anymore. So it's working very well at keeping the water away from my skin. And then uh, Hyperlite did its job. No water on the inside of my pack either. So all the gear is working as intended. This is the hill we had to climb in the morning. It was straight up and no switchbacks and a lot of bushwhacking. I my oatmeal this morning. <laughs> it's pretty good. This is day eight. Pretty steep climb in the morning. I got 1,200 feet in 0.8 miles. But pretty nice view. It rained all night. It's raining some this morning, but I think it's gonna clear up. Although, as I say that, it's raining a little bit more. And right now we're just going right on the crest of this ridge. There's no switchbacks. You just go straight up. That was our camp down there, Tetford campsite. And then it's taking about 45 minutes to climb up here. comes while we're at the very top of this ridge so you gotta get moving pretty cold and windy now when it's like this I think it's actually the most dangerous because Everything's wet and it gets super cold. And then the wind just cuts right through you. So, I'm gonna get off this ridge as fast as I can. Drop down into the woods. These are some more kind of magical enchanted woods. Uh, much better down here. Just having that wind blocked is, makes a huge difference. Definitely when there's high wind and it's cold and it's raining, just feels very threatening because it is, something goes wrong. Um, you will die of exposure within a couple hours. But I've got my jacket on right now, the fine track polygon. It's so nice to have a puffy that I can wear when it's raining. It's a regular down puffy. You gotta protect it from any getting wet. Once it's wet, it doesn't work at all. But this one, not a big deal. Uh, that was about like the cold was uh, like I was fucking oh, powering through soaked, but uh, the muscles are fucking feeling good. Yeah. So mm, we're good. Always a positive, right? Yeah. Hey, are you guys staying here? No. 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 Okay. So it's, it's six six hours apparently to the next hut, which it's only thirteen point five k. So we're thinking. Why you need or something like that? No. Huh? 
after him, after him, after him. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I was thinking. The extra steps you take, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Walking through a tussock, I think that's what they call it, like a swamp bog out here in New Zealand. So, looks like pretty much every day you're gonna have wet shoes out here. But it's really gorgeous walking right next to this river. And uh, camp will be up here. Apiara Hut. Probably saying that wrong. Uh, fairly short day in terms of miles, like 14 miles, but it's felt long. Pretty steep, steep trail, but so gorgeous. This is a fun, sketchy suspension bridge. We made it. This is Apirama Hut. What is it? Apirima? Apirima? <laughs> Good now. Oh, this is nice in here. Got <laughs> a nice wood stove. We get it. Take a tour. Look at the box. Oh, that's so cozy. <laughs> this is day eight. Today we are going through there. There's a couple of little passes and saddles to go over. And that is the Tika Timu Forest. And it's supposed to be lots more tussocks too. Here, I gotta look for the orange marker switch. And there's the one. The last day is always so nice with the white cap. Mm -hmm. There's a little extra motivation to get to town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got a name. <laughs> It's boom boom! Come here. Right. Do it again. <laughs> okay, okay. Boom boom! Boom boom! It's in the house! <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> Fire. This is some pretty tall grass now. You can see if you were shorter, it'd be hard to see over. I bet Marble's having a hard time seeing over this. Out of the woods now and then just a short little road walk and then we will hitch into Teanu and take a day or two off. the socks before we do laundry and this is about the 10th round of pre-washing. Dr. Chef, watch me squeeze this sauce out of the packet. Hey, hey meat's on the table. <laughs> <laughs> That meat. Oh, yeah. Big steak for the big boys. <laughs> and the big girls. Oh, yeah. Poor Gonzalo just has to wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please, grab a full steak. Oh, it's so much work, I find. Yeah. Grab a full steak. There's a, we, we, we grabbed six steaks. And everyone has their own steak. Everyone has to be well, well fed. Oh my god, I'm sweaty! It's a lot of cost. That's a lot of sloth. <laughs> 